President Adam Abaro arrives to cast his vote, aware that in this tightly contested election, there could be surprises. But the president and his supporters are counting on a divided opposition to achieve victory. Well, I, have, I am your own presidential support in this country. Everybody knows that. Even you, the journalist, you know that. Who will be the winner? I will be the winner. Barrow is challenged by the leading architects of the coalition that handed him the victory over his predecessor, Yaya Jami, five years ago. They also voted and are confident of winning. What I want to say is that I have cast my vote. Alhamdulillah. Thanks to God. Praise be to him. This election is significant in many aspects. From the record number of candidates to the nearly a million people who registered to vote. Suleiman Ba says the difference between the 2016 election and this one is clear. The feeling of fear was there. But this one, there's no feeling of fear from my own, understand, from my own observation. And does that mean anything for you as a voter? Yeah, it means something. Yes, because when somebody feared, they can do certain things which is not in line with his own desire. For first-time voter Howard Deme, it's a dream come true. It feels nice for voting for the first time because since I was a child I wanted to vote. If I see people voting, I feel like I should go and follow them. As in all previous elections since 1947, a unique system is used. Traditional marbles along with a drum and bell inside. This could be the last time the marble system of voting is used in the Gambia. With the list of candidates growing, it's becoming increasingly expensive to produce ballot boxes for each candidate and in all of the country's 1,500 polling booths. The Election Commission wants to adopt paper ballots in the next vote because the system that has served this country for more than half a century is no longer sustainable. Turnout across the country was impressive and the process largely peaceful. People are enjoying greater freedom. They, you know, they've seen the value of elections as a means to peace uh, because Gambians are also, you know, very kind of peace loving but also love peace. The result of the election is expected within 24 hours of polls closing on Saturday night. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Banjul, The Gambia.